second round of the Valspar Championship from Innisbrook Resort, the Copperhead Course in Palm Harbor, Florida. Last week's winner at the Puerto Rico Open, Chesson Hadley, four over, trying to grind his way to the cut line. Edge of the green at 13, and Hadley with a one under 70, trying to build back that confidence he was showing last week in his first PGA Tour win. Charles Howell the third, level par at 17. Second hole the snake pit, and how making it look relatively easy as he holds that on his way to a two under total. Jordan Spieth working the seventh. Spieth would pick up an important birdie to get to one under, one under as he finishes his round, and he's among the top 15 on the leaderboard. Here's Harris English. English going for the par five green and two. This from 258 yards out and it finishes less than three feet from the flag. A brush in eagle for English. Brian Harmon looking for an uphill putt at 12. And Harmon playing well, knows this Bermuda grass, beats the greens, and a payoff birdie there. So Harmon able to get to two under par. Matt Every, two under as he's looking for the birdie at 12. Another player with Florida ties, right to left putt. Able to hold that. Off the green at the ninth, Kevin Na. Trying to just dig it out of that rough, and he holds it. A clean card for Na. A three under 68 on his way to a four under total. He's chasing Robert Garrigus. Garrigus looking for birdie at the fifth. In a four man playoff two years ago, had a great shot at the win, but lost out to Luke Donald when he missed a birdie caught in the first extra hole, but not missing too many here. As he would pick up birdie at nine. Garrigus on his way to making the turn. Building that total after a bogey at 10. Coming back with a look at birdie here at 15. Three birdies on the front, three more coming in, and Garrigus moves it to seven under and a three-shot lead as we head for Saturday. Join us noon Eastern on Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio, also available on PGATour.com. Golf Channel's coverage at 1 p.m. Eastern, NBC at 2 p.m.